I think already we started chemical properties of metals and we studied three properties. Am I right, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes? Please respond. So the first property we already studied about the metals. Metals are electropositive elements. Next, what is the second property we studied? Everybody, metals are, yes, please. Good reducing agent. Good reducing agents. So first one, as we already discussed, metals are electropositive elements because they will lose the electron or they will gain the electron. Everybody. Lost the electron. They will lose the electron and they will turn into what? Positive ion or negative ion? Yeah. They will turn into positive ion. So positive ion called as what? Cation. Yeah. Yeah. Metals are good reducing agents. So here also same thing. Because of they will... What is the reason? They are reducing agents because they will lose the electron and themselves they will what? Themselves they will oxidize or reduce. They will get oxidized. So that is why they are called as good reducing agents. Am I right, everybody? All of you? Please respond. So metals yes, are good reducing agents because they can give the electrons very easily. They can lose the electrons very easily. They will reduce the other species and themselves they will get what? Everyone. Themselves they will get oxidized. Oxygen. So that is the reason they are called as good reducing agent. Even though all the metals are not good reducing agents, there is a best reducing agent that metals are called as. I have already taught you. Yes, please. Alkali metals. Alkali metals. So alkali metals are the best reducing agents. So next one, we studied that third property. So that is what we used to say. Reaction with what? All of you? Reaction with the oxygen. oxygen. Okay. So that is what we used to say. Oxygen is present in where, guys? Oxygen is present in air. So now onwards, there is a standardized equation for everything. So first one, when metal react with oxygen, so what is the basic products will come, everybody? Metal react with the oxygen. That is what we can say. Basically, it is a burning reaction. So metal reacts yeah. with oxygen. So oxygen from air, we used to get that. What is the base, basic thing we'll get? All of you. Metal, ox metal, metal oxide, oxide will come. So this all the metal oxides, what they are actually? Yes, please. Yes. Basic oxide. Basic oxide. Means in the sense of they will convert. What litmus to what litmus, guys? Red litmus, red litmus to blue. Yes, please. So red litmus to they will converting into blue litmus. Now, if you notice it, do you think that all the metals will react with oxygen at the same rate? That is what is my question to you people. Is it all the metals will react with the oxygen at the same rate? That is what is the no, question. Sir. Yes, please. No, no. Some metals will react vigorously. Some metals will react normal. Some, react, uh, some metals will react very slowly. Like they need strong heating. So there is a metal which will react with the oxygen only by heating. So what is the metal? Strong heating. We have done an example. All of you? Last example for that. Iron will react with oxygen only by heating. Strong heating is required so that you will get the product called as what? Fe3. All of you? Fe3O4. Oh. So that is what we used to call as. What is the name of this one? Iron 2, 3 oxide. Am I right? So if you take first two metals, they are alkali metals. What are that actually? Sodium and potassium. So they are highly reactive with the oxygen. That is why basically we'll say this all reaction of metal with oxygen, we used to call it as burning of metal. So first class 10, the chemistry will start with the burning of magnesium. Am I right or good? Everybody? All of you? Or we can say combustion reaction. So every burning reaction, burning of metal. So first example, we studied that magnesium reacting with oxygen, we are getting, we are going to get magnesium oxide. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. 
all of you yes please respond so all the metals won't react with the oxygen at the same rate some will react with the room temperature some need normal heating and some need very strong heating so if you take sodium and potassium they can easily catch the fire even they expose to the atmosphere but if you take calcium and magnesium and all they need some heating and if you take aluminium so aluminium basically we used to use it for formation of protective layer that is what we used to call as a technique what is the technique we used to call everybody all of you so all the oxygen with oxygen it will form aluminium oxide so this oxygen. aluminium oxide is actually a protective it is a, actually a protective layer so protective layer in what what technique it is prevention of further oxidation yeah prevention of further oxidation so that is what it is called as we used to say anodizing technique for corrosion prevention am i right everybody all of you so anodizing technique to prevent corrosion we have studied or not corrosion chapter first chapter correct all of you so anodizing coating with aluminum so liquid aluminum coating with aluminum is actually a technique called as anodizing for preventing corrosion yes or no because anoda aluminum oxide it won't allow the oxygen further so that metal inside metal it won't be get corroded so that is the reason so like that many examples we studied the reaction of metals with oxygen is example of what everybody reaction of metals with oxygen is also example of under two kinds of reactions what is that guys all of you one is exothermic, exothermic reaction and as well as all these reactions will come under what everybody redox redox reaction, reaction. so this is what about what is the third property metals react with the oxygen so if you take your textbook all of you can open so there is a tabular column you can notice what happens when metals burn in air that's fine we can say that metals will burn with air so here also you can see you have seen an activity 3.8 that magnesium burns in air with a dazzling white flame this is not activity 3.8 activity 1.1 also same am i right everybody what we said magnesium burn it will burn with a dazzling white flame that is what we used to say burning of magnesium ribbon in first chapter we studied do you remember all of you yes please nobody is respond so that is what and what is the result yes. is that the resultant solution with both the red and blue litmus paper which one it will convert it will convert red litmus to blue correct mm -hmm. so it won't convert blue litmus to red that is why we will say they are in what nature all of you basic in nature basic in nature so that is what most metals gives what everybody basic oxides but if you take most non metals they will produce what guys here you can see here most most non metals they will produce what all of you acidic oxides yeah acidic oxides non metals produce acidic oxides when they dissolve in water and most metals they will give basic oxides when they will form that is what you should remember so next there is a concept here you can see do you know concept nothing is there that is what aluminum coating only anodizing process so what is anodizing process anodizing is the process of forming a thick oxide layer of aluminum so we all people knows to preventing corrosion further corrosion so we used to protect with aluminum so this is a very very important uh, uh, one you just mark it and you just read so what we already studied that's what it is uh, we can say that okay so how the process will take place and all this is the explanation of course we all will study that so just have a glance and keep it in mind that you have to read that one okay now so next go to the next property next chemical property characteristics of metal oxides so the metal oxides which we are getting so what is the characteristics this is what very important you can never find in book but they will find many questions related to that so let us discuss now of course book there is a word called as some niche i will say you that okay characteristics of metal oxides so metal will react with oxygen it will form what guys everybody metal will react with oxygen it will form metal, metal oxide. oxides so what is the nature first one so these metal oxides are 
so they are soluble in water that is what we used to call as solubility solubility of uh, sorry solubility in water so either these metal oxides are soluble or not that is what is the question so write it metal oxides are usually they are soluble in water but it's not all but basically we will say usually metal oxides are insoluble insoluble in water they are not soluble but of course there is exceptions always so metal oxides are soluble in water or insoluble in water they are insoluble in water except exception is there so except the oxides of oxides of sodium potassium okay and calcium of course magnesium also will come so we we all studied that magnesium oxide dissolved in water will get magnesium hydroxide am i right or wrong everybody yes so okay so basically generally metals metal oxides are insoluble in water so there is exception always so if you take the oxides of sodium and potassium they are soluble in water and these these oxides of potassium sodium they will dissolve in water and we all knows that basic basic oxides dissolve in water we used to call something the oxides which dissolve in water we used to call something anybody can tell soluble bases we used to call something anyone alkali alkalis so sodium oxide first what is the formula of sodium oxide everybody na2 sodium is 1 oxygen is 2 if you do the criss cross method what is the formula will come everybody na2 am i right or wrong so na2 was dissolve in water dissolve in water so what is the what is the expected formula anybody can tell me dissolve in water we used to get what we used to get sodium yeah. hydroxide sodium hydroxide balance the equation everyone fastly na2o plus h2o will gives you 2 naoh so this is what we used to called as sodium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide is a soluble base which that is why it is called as what everybody it is called as yes please All, okay so that is what so the oxides of sodium and potassium alone oxides of sodium and potassium basically will consider as a alkalis am i right or wrong guys everybody that is next one potassium oxide can you tell me potassium oxide formula k2o will react with the water yes mr rohit what is the product we can expect potassium hydroxide aqueous state so which is also we used to call it as what everybody alkalis so that is what you have to remember next same way calcium what is what is the calcium oxide formula everyone cao react with the water so what is the product you can get calcium calcium hydroxide so can you tell me what is the formula for calcium hydroxide please take the notes and write mr kaushik are you writing the notes i want response immediately otherwise leave from the meeting calcium hydroxide formula caoh yes sir caoh twice so can you tell me what is the physical state of calcium hydroxide aqueous state or solid state itakshri Yes. Solid state. That is why we used to not call it as a alkali. Do you understand, Harish? Very very important. So only we will call calcium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Sorry, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. These two alone we used to say alkalis because they are soluble bases in water. But here, if you notice, the physical state is solid. That is why I used to. I am not putting as a alkali. Understand, everybody? So that is very important one. So only which is which to call it as alkalis, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Okay. So please write it. So this is the first property. So characteristics of metal oxides they are soluble in water. Basically they are insoluble in water. There is exemption for sodium, potassium and calcium. Of course, if you want, you can write for magnesium also. 
So remaining metal oxides, they are not basically soluble in water. Next, these oxides, ampoteric oxides, you might be notice it. So the metal oxides are basic in nature as well as they are ampoteric in nature, ampoteric oxides. So can you tell me what is mean by ampoteric oxides? Not all, very few, only three you have. So what do you mean by ampoteric oxides? Anybody can tell? Yes, the, the metal oxides, keep in mind, ampoteric meaning, many people will never write even exam, it will become same question again and again. So that's what you please listen. Ampoteric means, most of the metal oxides you can see, they will dissolve in water to give alkaline solution. They are basic in nature. And so many they will react with the acid also and they will give some kind of solution. So the oxides which shows acidic as well as basic behavior, they are as called as ampotric oxide. So please write that. Ampotric oxide. The oxides the oxides which show acidic as well as acidic as well as basic behavior basic behavior are known as amphoteric oxide so means in a sense of they will react with the both acids as well as what everybody they will react with the both bases as well as Acid. acids. That is what we used to call as ampotric oxide. Keep in mind, the oxides who will react with the both acids as well as bases, we used to call as ampotric oxide. Are you clear, Mr. Omar? Mr. Kaushik? Understand what I am saying? Everybody? So that is what. So now, for example, let us take now, we all people know, Magnesium oxide, for example, it will react with acid. So, can you tell me the, what is the products will come? Everybody? Yes, please. Magnesium oxide react with acid. Let me take sulfuric acid. So, sulfuric acid formula is H2SO4. So, what is the expected products? Basic oxide react with the acid. Anybody, please? Products? Magnesium sulfate, magnesium sulfate plus we are going to get water. So you don't know the formula, please write it. Magnesium, what is the valency? 2. Sulfate valency is also 2. So if you do the crisscross method, so what will happen, guys? We'll get Mg2SO4 twice. So 2, 2 will can get cancelled. So what is the formula of magnesium sulfate, everybody? All of you? MgSO4. So this is a similar equation in chapter 1 type of reaction. Can you tell me the same thing? Acid react with the, this is not base, it's a basic oxide. So I will consider as a base. So acid plus base will react, we used to get something. Anybody can tell? Salt plus, water. Salt plus water. So this is the reaction we used to call something. Anybody can tell what is the name of the reaction? Please consider that. If base will react with acid, we will get respect to salt plus water. But here we are not using base. What we are using, guys? Basic oxide we are okay. using. Understanding? Basic oxide will react with acid. Instead of base, I will write basic oxide. So basic oxide will react with acid. Then also we will get what, guys? Not only base. Basic oxide react with acid. Then also we people will get, guys, what we are going to get? Respect to salt plus water. So we can say, this is also example of what reaction? Neutralization reaction. Am I right or wrong? Everybody clear? Yes, please respond. I love you. Anybody having any doubt? You can ask me. Clear understanding, Amma? Yes, sir. Yes, that is what. Okay, so please make it. Any doubt, you can ask me. So now you can see, same way you can take copper oxide. Can you tell me what is the formula of copper oxide, all of you? Copper oxide is what? CuO. So react with the sulfuric acid. So what will happen? What is the products you can expect? You, you speak. CuSO4. 
Yes. CuSO4 plus H2O. CuSO4, CuSO4 plus we are going to get water. So every time I'm mentioning the physical state, so you are all must have a practice that you all should write the physical state without fail. So CuSO4. Formula Theriyada, you do crisscross method and learn it. So we'll get Cu2SO4 twice. So 2,2 will get cancelled. So what is the copper sulfate formula, everybody? Copper sulfate formula is CuSO4. So still I want to write in names also. You can write it. So because if you are really learning, interested to learn, you can write everything. Nothing wrong in that. So you have to speak and you have to write it. So that is what you can see. So this what most of the metal oxides, they will dissolve in water and they will give alkaline solution. So they are basic in nature. So that is why we will say they will react with acid. They will form respect to salt and as well as what guys? They will form respect to salt plus water. Okay. Now, as we studied this, this oxides shows acidic as well as basic behavior. I am not saying these oxides, only three oxides you have, which will react with the acids as well as bases. So that is what ampotric oxides we used to say. So if we say some of the metal oxides, we used to, they will react with acid as well as base. So they are only called as what oxides everybody used to say? We used to call as? Yes, ampotric oxides. Ampotric oxides react with acid as well as base. So we have only three. So one is aluminum oxide. Please learn it. Next one is lead oxide. And third one is zinc oxide. These are the only three uh, ampotric oxides you have. Means they will react both react with the react both acids as well as yes please bases. So they are only called as ampotric oxide. So let us take first one, aluminum oxide. Very popular equation and very important, important uh, formula. So aluminum oxide reacting with acid. So what are the acid you want? We are have only two acids, popular acids. What are the two popular acids we all people know? Everybody? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. Let me take now hydrochloric acid. So what is the products we are expecting? Speak everyone. Try to answer right or wrong. You write it. So please make it. So what will happen? First one. We'll get aluminum chloride. AL will three. So what is the formula will come? Aluminum is 3, chlorine is 1. So if you do the crisscross, we will get Al1, Cl3. So what is the formula, everybody? Aluminum chloride. What is the nature, physical state? Sanjay Kanan, nor AlCl3 plus we will get H2O. Now Mr. Pugal will balance it and say fastly. Pugal, I am giving just only 10 seconds time. Balance it and tell me. Asid, your number is 32. You are joining with 31. Okay. So just make it everybody. Parsley. Balancing equation. Mr. Pugal, I asked you only speak. Otherwise, leave from the meeting. It's not necessary that I want to can, can make it a shout every time. Balance it fastly. Anybody balanced already? I want to know. Yes. Yes. Physical state also consider a balancing equation. Tell me, Mr. Omar, are you listening? I called you two times now. Mr. Gokul, join with the number. Respond, guys. Sir. Yeah, balancing equation. Six How to six. balance it? Check it, everybody. First of all, you, you be careful. Aluminium, all of you see. Aluminium here, render. Here, how many are there? Here, how many are there? Yes. One. One. So then I can make it here two. Am I right, everybody? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Next, chlorines, you check it. Here, chlorines, only one is there. But here, how many are there? Two, three, six. six. Two, three, six. 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 So that I can multiply here with the six. Now, hydrogen, check it, everybody. Hydrogen, all of you check it. Any, any problem? Six, six hydrogens are there, but here how many hydrogens are there? Only two. So that I have to multiply with what coefficient here? Three, sir. Three. Oxygen, three. oxygen here three, and here also three. Balanced or not? All of you? Yes, sir. That's all. 
Yeah. By seeing equation, you, you must come to a level that by seeing equation, you should balance it. Clear, everybody? So that is what is needed. Simply namesake, I'll do mean there is no use. <laughs> Next, reacting with the sulfuric acid. You do it. Al2O3, reacting with the sulfuric acid. You tell me the products. Pugal, useless Pugal, like this means I'm saying. You, I'm asking also, you're not responding. What, what sense you have, I don't know. Answer next products, please. That's what is the products here? Aluminum acid reacting with sulfuric acid. Aluminum sulfate. Al2 SO4 3. Yes, Al2 SO4 thrice. Aluminum sulfate plus we are going to get water. So balance it. I'll write the formula. All of you listen how to come aluminum sulfate. Al is Al valence is 3. Sulfate valence is 2. If you do the crisscross method, we will get Al2SO4 thrice. Mr. Rohit, are you studying? Already homework yes, slipped. I know that. Simply no use of homework. So make yes, it sir. pass, everybody. Al2SO4 thrice. Aluminium sulfate. What is the physical state? Check it, everybody. Aqua state. Balance it fastly now. How to balance it is very simple here. You can easily balance this equation by saying it. How, guys? Very simple. See. Aluminium is already balanced. Balance it. Next. What else is missing? Check it, everyone. Here, sulfates are 3. SO4 thrice. But here, only SO4 1. So, I will multiply with what? To make it balancing. I will multiply with the 3. If I make it 3, then hydrogens become 3 2s are 6. 6 hydrogens. But here, only 2 hydrogens. Then here, I have to multiply with what number? 3. 3. Then oxygens you verify. Is it balanced or not oxygen? Here oxygens are 3. Here also oxygens are 3. Don't consider sulphate. Sulphate is already balanced. Clear guys? Yes, right? That is what. You should. You must able to make it. So now see. It is reacting with the acid means I given two examples. Now reacting with the base. You can give one. So because it is ampotric oxide. So aluminum oxide reacting with the base. So what is the most popular base? We all know that sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide, we have a common name, which is we studied in second chapter. Anybody can tell what is the common name of sodium hydroxide? If you are simply sitting and attending and going, I'm not going to take anything. I'm saying very serious. The sodium hydroxide, what is the common name? This is what you will have study. I'm asking sodium hydroxide common name. This is Mr. Harish. Soda lima. Uh, soda lima. Who is that? Uh, Caustic soda. Caustic soda. This is what you people are studying. So, caustic soda, what is the formula? Check it, everybody. Who is to call as sodium hydroxide? Am I right or wrong? Yes. So what is the product? So caustic soda. Ah, now you people are saying after the referring, you people don't know. So caustic soda, what is the production process? Are you there as? So salt and water. So chlor alkali process. Ah, chlor alkali process. One of the most important process in second chapter. Chlor alkali process. Remember da? That is. So, aluminum oxide reacting with the sodium hydroxide. Can you tell me the products, please, here? This is also one of the most important equation which I already given you before. Let me know who will say. Yes. Sodium, aluminum oxide reacting with the sodium hydroxide. Products, please. You will get what? Sodium aluminate. A N A A L O 2 aqua state plus we are going to get water that is what in liquid state what is the name of this one everybody sodium aluminate okay so this is only you see that it is reacting with the base it is reacting with acid that is why it is called as what one wish to say ampotric oxide what is to call ampotric oxide okay so like that we can write for equations for lead oxide and as well as zinc oxide also so let us write for zinc oxide so that you all can understand how to write it. So zinc oxide reacting with acid. Can you tell me what is the equations? So zinc oxide reacting with HCl and zinc oxide reacting with the sulfuric acid. Yes, please. 
So what is the products you will get? Here. Second study, zinc chloride plus we are going to get what is that? Water. Water. And here we are going to get what? Everybody. Zinc sulfate Water. plus we are going to get water. Many people are not at all listening, not at all showing interest. I don't know what is happening really. Simply sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. What life it is, I don't know. Make it fast, everybody. So zinc oxide reacting with HCl. Balancing equation. Is it balanced or not verified? Here chlorines are two, but here only one. So that I'll put here two. So chlorines will get balanced. I think our remaining all already balanced. Am I right? If I balance the if I balance the chlorine, remaining things balanced. Right or wrong? Mr. Nimish, you can speak. I think no, nothing responsible. Pugale, Nimish. I don't know what you people are doing. Next, zinc oxide reacting with sulfuric acid. Is it balanced equation already verified? Anything is left? Is not balanced? Yes, sir. No. Yes? All it's already right, balanced sir. equation. So we can say this is also ampotric oxide. So that is why I'm reacting zinc oxide reacting with the sodium hydroxide. So what is the expected product, anybody? Because it's the ampotric oxide, both acid as well as it will react with the base. So what is the expected product? This is also one of the famous equations. Second chapter we started already. Yes? Sodium zinc. Sodium, sodium zinc formula. plus water. Na2. Na2 is it no 2 Sodium zinc which is aqueous state plus which is actually water. So what is the formula of this one? Sodium zinc. Second chapter we started. Metals react. Metal oxides react. Like uh, bases reacting with the metal oxides. This is the example we studied. Am I right, everybody? Balance equation. It's not balance equation. Balance it. How to balance it first? Check it, everybody. Here, sodium is 2 and here only 1. So, I have to, to make it 2. What I have to do it? I have to multiply with the 2. Right? So, any other thing? Balance, verify it, anything? Hydrogens, hydrogens become 2. Oxygens, oxygens become 2. Any other thing is left unbalanced? I want to know. Yes, please. Yes. All of you. So we have check it everybody. Totally, how many oxygens are there? Here two oxygens plus here one, three oxygens. Now here also two plus one, three. Balanced it. Everything is balanced. Am I right, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is what about ampotric oxides. So totally we have only three ampotric oxides. So what is that? One is lead oxide, second one is aluminum oxide, next one is Zinc oxide. So these are called as ampotric oxide because they will react with what? Why they are called as ampotric oxide? They will react with both acid acid as well as base. That is what we used to call as ampotric oxide. Okay, everybody. So please make it. All of you. Till here, anybody having any doubt, please kindly let me know. Or else we can proceed further. Understand everybody? Yes. All of you. Now, once it is completed, your textbook, there is a paragraph which will only theoretically they'll speak, but there's many things which they'll ask in exam. So if you all notice this one, activity 3.9, they're saying something about some metals will react very fastly, some metals will react very slowly. So many points here they're discussing about it. The same thing we, we people need to know. So as it is very, very important one, so actually, what is activity 3.9? Uh, uh, you can see that. So hold, they're asking, I think, metal samples, collect the part form, let the products of the metal surface cool down. Uh, which metal burns easily? And what flame color did you observe when the metal burned? How does the metal surface appear after burning? Arrange the metals in a decreasing order of their reactivity towards oxygen. Are the products soluble in water? Okay, many questions they're asking activity 3.9. So actually, what is the activity, this one, to study the reaction of metals with oxygen on what? Reaction of metals with oxygen on, what is that, guys? On heating, okay? So we all know that metal will react, metal will burn with oxygen, it will form what? Metal oxide. So we are having many examples here. So this all the things we have already written now. There is ampotric oxide. Simply they mention a word called as ampotric oxide. You can see here, you can find here. So some metals, oxides, uh, they will react with the both acid as well as basic. That is what that kind of oxides we are called as what here? You can see. We used to call as 
along few amphotric oxides clear so what is the examples aluminum as well as zinc oxide of course you can take lead also so zinc oxide they have given examples for aluminum but in exam they will ask you what they will ask you zinc okay 